Hello, Leo. Welcome to another love reading. This one's going to be all about your person, what they're thinking, feeling about you. How do they view you or this connection? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? What do they wish they could tell Leo at this time? Spirit Angels Guide. Messages for uh, Leo. Oh, I want to say Aries right now. I have a feeling it's, and you know, this has happened before. Aries and Leo have something going on. <laughs> I haven't even done a reading for Aries today, so I'm really just not sure what's going on. Okay, for Leo. Messages for Leo. What do they need to know, sir, in regards to love? For Leo, spirit. What messages do you have for Leo? Okay, we got stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and separation. Okay, so some of you, I feel there's been a separation here. And I have a feeling that some of you are maybe feeling like the situation is hopeless or like things aren't coming together or something going on with a separation. So let's see. Could be time apart, a disconnect, a complete breakup. Messages for Leo, please. Okay, love. Spirit, what messages do you have for the sign of Leo? Sun, moon, and rising. For Leo, please. What do need to know regarding love? For April 2021. Okay, let's cut the deck and see what we get. In the recent past, we have the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Looks like bad luck. That's what I heard when I put this down. Okay, on your energy, I have Three of Swords reverse and then the Six of Cups. This is definitely about a past situation. Maybe a soulmate, an ex. Current energy, we have the Queen of Wands with the Seven of Cups reverse. Someone here looks like has made a decision um, and is ready to go after something that they desire. Um, motivated, bold. In their energy, we have the King of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles reverse. Recovering um, from a difficult situation, coming back in from the cold. Wow. Near future energy, we have the Two of Cups. Wow, beautiful energy here. A union, soulmate energy. We have two cards here that could be related to a soulmate. So let's jump in and clarify. Actually, I'm going to use the same deck. And then I'll use this deck for your energy. So let's start with the recent past. Now the Wheel of Fortune re is reversed, which means either something was just not the right time, uh, maybe the wheel, instead of moving forward, it has been blocked, delayed. Um, something could feel like it's bad luck or it's just more difficult than usual. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. What's this about, Spirit? For Leo? Three of Cups Reverse. Okay, so I have the Three of Cups Reverse, Three of Swords Reverse. There, maybe there's some sort of interference here. Let's see. Tell me more about the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. Ten of Cups reverse. Yes, this was heartbreaking, draining, disappointing. Could have been uh, family issues. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Let me get one more, please. Ten of Swords. Yeah, there was some sort of ending here. A cycle that came to a close. Someone could have felt betrayed. This was a difficult ending. And I feel like someone took it very hard. You, this person, both of you. It could have been due to a third party. I have the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So it could have been due to deception. Someone being sneaky. So what's the Seven of Cups reverse about? This is what's happening in the present. I feel like in the past, there was a difficulty here. Um, either you experienced this on your own 
Theo or your person experienced it on your own, on their own or this happened between you. Tell me about the Seven of Cups reverse. Nine of Swords, worry, anxiety, stress. Tell me more about the Seven Cups reverse. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Could be worry here about something coming together. Maybe someone's having a difficult time being patient, waiting, or feeling like something is out of balance here. Wow, the chariot. Cancer energy. Success, being on the right track. Movement with the chariot. But there's worries surrounding that. It's like someone's worried or stressed about making a particular move or the timing of something. Um, and this all stems from a choice, an, uh, an option being chosen among many, making the right choice. Someone wants to make a move here, and I think it's regarding this Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Why is Temperance here? Why is Temperance here? Why is Temperance here? Knight of Swords. Someone wants to move quickly. Um, either they want to communicate quickly or, you know, move towards something very quickly. But with temperance, it's almost like it's not happening as quickly as someone wants it to. Or perhaps patience is needed. Um, more time could be needed here. Um, I feel like someone wants to bring something into balance, make something work. And it's like they want this to be done quickly. I don't know if this is you or your person. There's attraction here. A desire, a want. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Five of Wands reverse. We got two fives reverse. Tell me about the Queen of Wands, please. Seven of Wands reverse. Someone wants to overcome the difficulty, the drama, the fighting with the Five of Wands reverse. I feel it's your person just because they have the five of pentacles reversed. They kind of like want to put down their their guard, their weapons, kind of this is the energy like put lay down their their baton, you know, it's their wand essentially. Like they don't want to fight anymore is basically what I'm getting here. Let me get some more clarity about the five of wands reverse. And the Seven of Wands reverse spirit. Get some more clarity about these two energies. Yeah, this is about making things right. Justice. Libra energy. Rebalancing. Things being fair. Just. So let's look at both of your energies. I'm going to be using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck to pull um, some oracles here for both of you. This is linked down in the description box. Spirit, tell me more about Leo and their person. What are their energies at this time? Tell us, Spirit, about Leo and their person. Now, Leo, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other. But feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. Tell me about Leo's energy, Spirit. Tell me about Leo's energies at this time. Love letter, message, confession, response. A special message is on its way. Someone could be wanting to reach out here, communicate with you. This could also be you communicating with someone else. Tell me about the person that Leo is dealing with. What are their energies? What are their energies at this time? 
Wow, true love. Love, union, coming together. The connection between you is genuine and true. Wow. Okay, this is like the Two of Cups. This is my true love, one of my favorite cards. So, okay. <laughs> This is very interesting to me because I have the separation card here as well. Um, but I feel like the emotions are there. The feelings are there. Love is there on both of your energies here. Let me clarify. Let me clarify these energies. Spirit. Leo, please. Okay, so let's start clarifying your energies here. Tell me about the Three of Swords reverse. This is on your side here, Leo. Tell me about the Three of Swords reverse. What's this about? The Empress reverse. Another three. Tell me about the Three Swords. Reverse. Two of Wands. Interesting. I feel like you've been waiting for something to grow, manifest here. Um, I feel like you've been patient and it's almost like you haven't made a decision about something. The higher font reverse, Taurus energy, broken commitment. So there could have been something here that got in the way of a commitment. Um, maybe you've been waiting for something regarding a commitment. The Empress is reversed. So something's not really happening here. It could have been um, someone that was left behind. Like a jilted lover. It could be a difficult person or it could be that someone's not able to manifest what they truly want here. And this is regarding the past or soulmate. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? Wow, the Two of Cups is reverse. Tell me about the Six of Cups. I feel like there was a separation with a soulmate here. Or at least this is how someone's feeling. Yeah, the magician. So you, you're manifesting something here. Tell me more about the magician. Why is the magician here? Page of Swords reverse. Interesting. I feel like you're manifesting communication or some sort of knowledge. And it's not happening. Yeah, I feel like there's a separation here between you and another person. And in the middle of that, it's, it's almost like the, this separation is, um, is something you still think about, you're affected by. There could have been um, deception here. But I feel like you're manifesting something regarding this separation can i get one more please for the magician where's the magician here eight of swords reverse overcoming fear overcoming feeling stuck interesting it's almost like for some of you you might be manifesting an ending here or you're still being affected by an ending because I have the Ten of Swords here, the Three of Swords, and the Five of Cups. Regrets, disappointment, heartbreak regarding an ending. You could be the one that's wanting to make things right or perhaps this is someone coming to you wanting to make things right and now you have a choice to make, a path to choose. 
Tell me if that's resonating in the comments. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Why is the King of Pentacles here? Four of Cups, okay. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Ten of Cups reversed again? Dissatisfaction, unhappiness. This King of Pentacles is not happy. Two of Pentacles reverse. And then the Three of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's a third person here. And it's almost like this King of Pentacles is making a decision about that. Can I get one more for this Two of Pentacles reverse? What's this about? Why is the Two of Pentacles reverse? Yeah, Five of Pentacles reverse. So the choice is about regaining something they've lost. I have the Five of Pentacles reverse twice. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles reverse down here. Why is the Five of Pentacles reverse? Yep, success, recognition. Why is the Five of Pentacles reverse? The wheel. So this person wants to turn this wheel around. Your person, they want success, they want fate and fortune on their side. They want this wheel to turn in their favor. Yep, and there's a star. Aquarius energy, hope, renewal, healing. This is what your person wants. Um, I feel like they're just waiting for that wheel to turn to have success with you. Um, maybe they're waiting for the right time. Um, a stroke of luck, uh, serendipity, an opportunity, a golden ticket here. So where is all of this headed? Got the Two of Cups. Tell me about the Two of Cups, please. Tell me about the Two of Cups. Wow, the Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands. Wow, I'm not even going to clarify that further. Bottom of the deck, the Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy. This person, you know, what's headed towards you is a new beginning um a passionate new beginning something with balance harmony something where it's like domestic bliss with a special partner that's where this is headed and it's almost like your person has been unhappy all this time wherever they're at it's it's not a very happy situation it's like they want things to change um, otherwise, I'll leave it here, Leo. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this resonated for you. I hope you got something out of this reading. Um, leave me a comment if it resonated. I'd love to hear from you. If you'd like to support the channel for free, then please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. It shows more people these videos, and it's a great way to show your support without having to spend any money. So uh, consider that. I appreciate anybody that has already done that and I'll see you on another video very soon. Take care.